football, forget about titles. Forget about pride. Careers are on the line in this one. The loser must retire from the world of professional wrestling. instigated all of this. Chris Linnell may have made the challenge, but Ash instigated all of this alongside his little sidekick. He was accompanying him to ringside curve. And of course, it was when curve turned up on the scene at January's no escape event. But things started to go a bit sour for AK-47. When he speculated that Ash wanted to side with his former tag team partner Curve opposed to his tag team partner and then tag team champion Chris Lanell. But Ash, he wiped out the doubts in everyone's mind when he pledged his allegiance to Lanell, pledged his allegiance to AK-47 and pledged his allegiance to the tag team titles. However, that all changed. When AK-47 lost those belts at a taste of IPW and there was inadvertent interference from Curve, that cost AK-47 and more specifically forced Chris Linnell to be pinned and Ash has never forgotten. a series of two-on-one attacks on Linnell followed as Linnell couldn't get his hands on Ash but now he has his chance to get his hands on his former tag team partner one-on-one -on -one. there's no way for Curve to get in there's no way for Curve for Ash to try and run away without confronting Linnell this match can only end by a pinfall submission or escape It's a big night for Chris Lennell. He came into IPW UK a little over one year ago. Ash, his former best friend, his former mentor, his former trainer brought him in. And here comes Chris Lennell. The youngster who self-proclaimed came into IPW UK a trainee and now stands a man, a wrestler, a wrestler's wrestler. That and Curve getting in the face of Linnell already. Referee Chris Hatch having his problems with Curve on the outside of the ring. Chris Lanell cautious. Did you hear that announcement from MC John Atkins? Referee Chris Hatch. Referee Chris Hatch has banned Curve from ringside and he's got to the count of 10. And Curve will forfeit this match for his tag team partner. And 
curves out of there, but let's focus on the inside of the ring. Ash has attacked oh. Linnell, and both men now oh. on the top of the cage are in precarious territory oh. here. Oh. He's gonna come out on top here as both oh. men exchanging blows on that cage. Oh. And it's Chris oh. Linnell who comes out on top. And Linnell could escape the cage now, but no, there's a big flying clothesline, and that's for months of torment that Ash has put it, Chris Linnell through. There's Linnell now unloading on Ash. Ash sent off the ropes. Spine Buster connects with authority. And Chris Linnell looking to slingshot Ash with that steel structure. But Ash hangs on, hops up, and Ash is looking for a way out of the steel cage. And Chris Linnell quick to try and cut him off. Don't forget there's two ways you can win this matchup. One is by the escape, and what the other is by normal match rules, pinfall or submission. But ladies and gentlemen, there's no disqualifications in this one. And Chris Linnell's trapped inside a tree of woe with nowhere to go. Baseball slide into that steel chair. And Ash has perched that chair once more across the skull of Chris Linnell. And what does Ash have in mind now? Well, he's looking to escape, perhaps, but when he says no, he's turned around. And Terminator Connect! And the steel chair just went full force into the skull of Chris Linnell. And now look at Ash choking Linnell. And listen to the fans getting behind Chris Linnell. The fans want Linnell to win this one. They want Ash's career to end. And what a shame it would be for Chris Linnell's career to have to end here tonight. Look at Ash now choking him away. There's nothing referee Andy can, Gordon can do. And if you see there, he's asking Chris Linnell if he submits. Be a perfectly legal submission with use of the ropes inside this steel cage environment. No, we'd say this kind of match is career shortening, if not career ending. But ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's scenario, this match will be career ending for one of these two wrestlers. Says reversal, Ash bolts over, backcracker! And Linnell gets himself back to his feet, almost out of instinct more than anything. But Ash with a drop kick just sends Linnell through the ropes into that steal. There's no give there. Now what's Ash got in mind? He charges full force and again sends Linnell into that steel structure. And Ash now has Chris Linnell hanging in precarious territory. Ash is using the cage to his advantage, getting balance before dropping the leg. A guillotine-like leg drop across the back of Linnell's leg. And there's a cover. Well, two count only, and it's gonna be, it's gonna take, sorry, more than that to put Linnell away. The knees dug into the spine as Ash has the mouth of Linnell fish hooked. Who's the one in charge? Who's the one in charge? And Ash there proclaiming he's the one in charge of this contest. And that he is in, at the moment, it's been all Ash. Oh. As Linnell sent face first into the steel cage. Oh. 
And oh. for a second time, Linnell sent head first, and there's a half and half suplex as Linnell's folding up like an accordion. Lateral press. Two counts only. And Ash now with a forearm, make that two to the side of Chris Linnell's skull, sends him a throat, there's reversal for Linnell. High back body dropping, did you see the way Ash collided with Steel? That's flesh against Steel, and there's only going to be one winner. And that's Steel. Each and every time, let's now look at Ash, his head's being grated against that Steel cage. As Linnell now places the steel chair behind the skull of Ash. And Ash, I don't think Ash realises what's coming, but... Oh my! Steel chair against the back of a skull, and the front of a skull connects with nothing but steel cage. As Chris Lanell's back to his feet, Ashes down. Oh, come on, is your... ah. 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 As Lanell hoists Ash up onto his shoulders and sends him face first into a steel mesh. And suddenly this contest has flipped. It's turned into a favour of Chris Lanell. It's a solid right hand, a closed fist to the skull. And Lanell just sits out. Could break a neck. And now Chris Lanell, I think. I think Linnell's going to win this one right here as Chris Linnell looking to climb out of the steel cage. And this could be it for Chris Linnell now. Ash's career could be over. As he makes it past the top rope onto the cage, but Ash, he cut him off. Now both men in precarious territory. Ash has Chris Linnell now. He's hanging on to that vest of Linnell. Now what's Ash looking for? Cracker from the top of the steel cage. And words can't do that justice. And that back cracker from the top of the cage may have damn near broken Chris Linnell's back. But what damage has it done to Ash? The full body weight of Linnell came crashing down on his knees. Is Ash going to be able to walk after this? He's already bleeding profusely from his skull. I think it's just a sign of how much these two men want it. And Ash now lateral press on Linnell could be over, but Chris Linnell kicked out. And Linnell perched now on that top strand by Ash. And look at Ash using the cage to aid him to get back to his feet. Now Ash now making full advantage, taking full use of this cage as he's trying to get Linnell up on his shoulders. But Linnell, he's fighting him off. Look at the fight from this youngster. Linnell's career is only just beginning and he doesn't want it to end tonight here in Swanley. DDT from the top rope. And can Linnell now either turn Ash over or escape the cage? He's trying to turn him over. The arm draped across the chest. 
and again, Ash kicks out. Ash is still in this fight. And Ash with a low blow, and I think that's all he's gonna need. It's a shame that it's come down to this. Ash now, he's home and dry. One leg's over, Linnell's chasing him, but I fear it's too late for the plucky youngster. Ash is nearly home and dry, but Linnell following him. It's tenacious to say the least, and Ash now trying to fight off Linnell. And Ash now positions himself back in the cage. Linnell got one leg over. It's a chop across the chest. Look how high these two men are. It's only one way down from here and it's gonna hurt. Ash hanging on for all his worth. Linnell, he's got the head of Ash. Chris of Death! The Chris of Death from the top of the steel cage! And now, all Anel has to do is drape the arm across the chest and this one's over. The Chris of Death from the top of this steel structure. And now Linnell, he's clawing, he's crawling, his way across the ring and the arms across the chest and Ash is out of here, no! I don't know how Ash managed to kick out but he did and he's back to his feet first. Kick to a midsection on Linnell. Linnell went for Chris of Death once more. Ash with a kick to a midsection. Good night, Chris. He's looking for that Canadian destroyer. Linnell with a kick to a midsection of his own. And Chris Linnell with a Canadian destroyer. That's Ash's finishing manoeuvre. Cover. And yes, yes, yes. And there you hear, official word, Chris Linnell has defeated his former mentor, his former tag team partner, Ash. And as a result, Ash must retire from the world of professional wrestling and we will never see him in IPW UK again. Chris Linnell victorious, what a match and what an effort. And listen to the fans chanting Linnell's name and after all he's been through, he deserves it. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to thank you for joining us here tonight, live from Swanley, Kent, for Caged Warfare, and we'll see you soon.